Welcome back to Media Mesh, where I give you my unapologetic opinion on everything from music, movies, news, reality, TV, and much more as we go down a rabbit hole. Now, this guy in front of us, Mr. Boosie, um, basically reacts to Donald Trump wanting the death penalty for drug dealers. So stay tuned. Again, forgive me, the audio is not going to be that great because I am not home. However, I still want to keep it moving. And shout out to each and every one of my new subscribers. Uh, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Definitely check the playlist. There's over 100 videos, including the one I did on Quavo and his connection to Take Off's demise. We'll put it that way. So first and foremost, if you are subscribed to the channel, you'll notice I have a video on Boosie. I am not a fan at all. So when he speaks, it's kind of like, you know, I, I must speak next. But basically, um, what he's saying, uh, this is in response to Trump saying that he's going to wage war upon the cartels and stop the fentanyl and deadly drugs from killing 200,000 Americans per year. He added, we're going to be asking everyone who sells drugs, gets caught selling drugs to receive the death penalty for their heinous acts. This is ironic, and I'll explain why, and then we'll get back into Boosie. Uh, everyone knows, well, if you don't know, you could probably watch that show called Snowfall and it's telling you a lot of true events that took place as far as a certain uh, three letter organization that allowed uh, these drugs to come into the country and into the black communities. And then I guess in time, you know, people of color decided that they were going to use this as a tool to make themselves money not realizing the damage that it was going to cause to the community and to themselves uh, for generations to come. So first thing to keep in mind that this was allowed. So now you have Trump saying that pretty much he wants to offer the death penalty. But if he was really serious about that, he'd have to start higher up than the streets because this is much higher level than, you know, the low, the low level uh, drug dealer that, you know, on a corner. Um, I digress. So the whole issue for me is, is coming from Boosie because it's been alleged that he's been involved with numerous murders of black people. So his statement, uh, which is death penalty for drug dealers, WTF, is you going to have death penalty for white cops who kill innocent black men? Of course not. That's not happening. The same time, he's in my estimation, a hypocrite. Because, again, there have been numerous deaths linked to his name, not to mention he was on trial for doing so. So until he starts to care about black lives, then I need you not to speak on the behalf of black folks in this country. OK, we do not need you as a spokesman giving your opinion about affairs in the black community until you right your wrongs. And this is alleged, but a lot of people say. It. So, you know, be that as it may, you know, I don't think he's the right representative. And uh, yeah, no, it's just not gonna. So again, there's families who have been without their family members for quite some time due to his alleged actions. I was not there, so I cannot confirm or deny. But again, I think he's the wrong representative. But back to Trump. I'm also surprised that he's not in favor of Trump because so many rappers came out and saying, well, you know, they like him because he keeps it real. At least you know where you stand. Right. I know I've heard many of people say that, you know, at least he keeps it real. You know, they, they prefer somebody that. They know don't like them, as opposed to, I guess, the Democrats who come out and smile in your face. Um, but at the same time, they're not for you either. So it's a catch 22. It's like. Just like the elections. You have your Democrats, you have your Republicans. And to me, it's all one and the same. It's just like the Bloods and the Crips. They both have red, <laughs> you know, bloods have red, Republicans have red, Democrats have blue, Crips have blue. So they're just fighting wars, but on a different level, just, you know, one's on the street level and one's on the higher up that often can involve 
some street stuff too. So to me, it's like the, the onus is on us as a people. Because the truth is, it's more black on black violence and crime than there is police officers killing black people. I know it's not what you see on TV because that's being pushed out there on a regular basis to keep you infuriated, to get you in your emotions, to further cause division in this country as if that's an everyday occurrence when it is not. I'm not defending police. So listen to this in its entirety before you start making crazy comments in the comment section. I'm not defending anyone taking the life of anyone, especially not someone who's an authority who is supposed to be there to serve and protect. So by no means do I justify the action of these crazy cops out there. But if a situation was to pop off, do I want to have a police come and help? Absolutely. So yeah, it's a, you got to be careful with that. As they say, be careful what you wish for, because if you totally defunded the police and then if there was a situation at your house and if you're not strapped, you know, you're going to want somebody there who is to help rectify the situation. So I think our attention should be focused on promoting love in our own communities, respecting each other in our own communities. Every day, apparently, there's a rapper that's being taken out. There's two more. I'm going to be doing a video pretty soon on these two guys because I have an interesting perspective on that too. You'll know how I do. So, I, you know, I got to come with it. You know, I got to come at it from the right angle, you know. But, uh, yeah, this is quite interesting. Let me know what you think in the comments. Do you think that Boosie has a voice in this community considering how he's always in the mix of some foolishness? His name's been linked to foolishness. He's been in jail behind some foolishness regarding black men. So do you still get a, a voice to speak to the black community considering you're also part of the problem? That's my question. And we have to not allow people who are not truly down for the cause to be out here speaking on our behalf and again, it's not justifying what Trump said, but again, this is what people wanted. Y'all like Trump because he could be real. Well, he's keeping it real now. So the only thing that we can do as a people is not participate in the, in the game. If you know that they allowed it to come over into this country, they allowed it to get to your community. They allowed you to make some money off of it for a short period of time. But at the same time, they're making the most money off of it. And then they're turning around and locking you up. At what point do you realize that it's not beneficial for you to be out here peddling this garbage to people in your community, seeing how it's destroying those that live there, their futures and just the livelihoods of all of us. So we have to really start looking at the bigger picture and caring about each other as a whole. And then it doesn't matter what laws people pass. If you're not part of the problem, you're not going to be caught up in the foolishness. That's my take on it. So until next time, you guys have a blessed day and hopefully you enjoy uh, holidays. You know, I know again, I know the truth behind that. We'll, we'll talk about that in another video, but you know, it is what it is. Um, as far as these times of years, these are money making opportunities. And of course we know the atrocities that took place. So it's really not a happy time for those indigenous to this continent what well, well this yeah i guess the continent yeah man yeah, the united states so but it is what it is so until next time peace and blessings <laughs>